this is the second part of my tutorial. Um, here we're going to look at um, another type of wave. Quick bit of review from last time, we've got carriers, which are waves that make sound. And quick reminder, if you look at VGM Maker, any waveform that is green makes a sound, and it's a carrier. Um, you can also see that there's a couple of other waves here, number one and number two, that are not green. These are called modulators, and they feed into carriers, and they change the quality of the sound. So let's make a quick note of that. So a modulator is a wave that affects a carrier. Uh, modulators can also affect other modulators when you get a little bit more complicated, but let's keep things fairly simple for now. Um, in the first video, we were just using um, carrier number four and um, to kind of change the envelope. So let's do a super quick review of that. Increase the total level, um, decrease the sustain rate a little bit. Sorry, I keep using that to enter numbers, which I shouldn't. And we've just got a nice little simple sound which disappears fairly quickly. Um, let's change that to an infinite sustain for now. What we're going to do now is we're going to see how uh, the modulator, which is number two, affects the carrier, which is number four. So we're going to be using this strip up here. Um, modulators don't actually produce any sound by themselves, so if we reduce the volume here, um, I'm going to increase the total level and make an infinite sustain on number two, which is my modulator, and you can see me playing keys, but no sound is coming out, because modulators don't produce sound by themselves. So let's turn the modulator back down again. Um, Oh yeah, one thing, on um, VGM Maker, don't play two notes at the same time on one voice, because watch your ears, that happens. So, what I'm going to do is very slowly increase the total level of the uh, modulator number two, see how it changes the sound. So far, not much. Now you can probably hear a bit of a change starting to come in. And when you go all the way up to the top, it gets a bit loud. Let's bring it back down just a touch. So what's happening is um, modulator 2 is going into carry 4 and affecting the quality of the sound. Now, um, there's a couple of interesting things that you can do. Because the sustain of the modulator is currently infinite, it doesn't change how it affects the quality of the sound over time. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop the sustain rate quite a lot. So you're going to have it moving from instead of, um, for example, loud to quiet with a carrier, we're going to move from quite a lot of effect to no effect. So try and imagine what that's going to sound like. Actually, let's make it a bit louder so it's a bit more obvious. And we've got a fairly typical FM uh, bass type sound. And um, you can obviously make it go even faster if you want to. Make it go much, much slower. Lots of different stuff you can do in that. Um, believe it or not, you can actually use just the carrier and the modulator and the sustain rate and the total level to make a kick drum, which is kind of cool. Let's have a look at a kick drum quickly. Um, this is Renoise again, this is just a sample of a kick drum. Oh, a little bit too high. Um, we're not going to get this type of sound out of VGM Maker just yet. Um, but 
we can make a fairly reasonable kick drum. Let's slow this down, and I want you to look at the scopes quickly. The beginning of the sound has a lot of kind of chaos to it. But as time progresses, the sound smooths out and becomes basically a um, sine wave. So, nice smooth sine wave there. Um, just to illustrate that point, that's like just the beginning, play just the start. Sounds kind of like a little pop sound. And this middle bit, let's loop it. Yeah, if you loop this, it becomes kind of speed up a bit. It becomes kind of like a sine wave. Um, which is great because we know how to do sine waves because that's all the a lot of FM synths do, especially the older ones. So, um, what we want our FM synth to do is move from a kind of a pop sound, like that, down to a sine wave, like that. And we can do that by changing the modulator. So, we want to move from a poppy type sound, to a fairly pure sine wave. Um, and we can do that by adjusting the sustain rate. Oh, let's turn it off first, shall we? Great idea. Not quite what we want. This still isn't quite what we want, but if you listen to the very beginning of the sound, we've got a lot of that kind of poppy interference. And as you get to the end, we get to a pure sine wave, well, purish sine wave. So we're not quite where we want to be, but we're in that kind of ballpark. So let's increase the sustain a bit more. Sorry, reduce the sustain a bit more. Getting a little bit closer now. So the magic number should be kind of 20, 25. Let's drop ourselves an octave or two. Um, I don't know how well YouTube's picking that up, but that's an okay kick drum. Um, obviously, going back to Reno's quickly, a less than that we've got. The volume of our kick drum is getting um, quieter, it's not sustaining infinitely or anything. And we can replicate that too, simply by dropping the sustain rate of our um, carrier. A little bit too long. And yeah, so it's not perfect, but it's a reasonable kick drum. And we can alter the sustain rates here to change the um, type of sound just a little bit. So imagine you want like a kind of 808 style kick drum. If you make a very, very, very short pop at the beginning by increasing the sorry, decreasing the sustain rate and kind of increasing the sustain rate of the carrier. Doesn't sound exactly like an 808, but it's yeah, kind of a reasonable representation for what we've got going so far. Or if you wanted something a bit more punchy, if you do the opposite and drop the sustain rate on the modulator a little bit. Oh, a little bit too much. and tighten up the envelope on the carrier. We've got um, a nice little kick drum. Um, it's worthwhile bearing in mind that we've got another modulator and carrier pair that we can use here to kind of improve the quality of our sound. But we don't want to do that just yet. Um, so let's do a super quick review. We've got a carrier, which is a wave that makes sound, um, a modulator, which is a wave that doesn't produce any sound by itself, but it affects a carrier. And we've got our total level, attack rate, and sustain rate. Um, just one more quick thing you can do. Um, it doesn't really help that much with kick drums, but if you drop the total level just a little bit, what was that, a little bit too high. If you drop the total level of the modulator, you can make your kick drum a little bit more gentle or a little punchier. 
So there's two or three things that you can adjust to get a kick drum that you like the sound of. I quite like that one. So that is the end of the second tutorial. Thanks very much for listening.